Today I'm working on one of my project cars and uh, I'm going to be installing this battery disconnect switch. It's for the negative terminal. Now this car I keep at a buddy shop and it gets moved around from time to time and well sometimes the battery doesn't get disconnected whether it's the guys here or, or me and I just forget. So I thought if I put a disconnect switch on it it might be a good reminder to just turn that off after you move the car because it's it's got a parasitic drain and that's on the list of things to fix but there's a lot more pressing matters. Got a charger on it at the moment, but I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. This is an Amper battery disconnect switch. This only works on the negative terminal. Don't try and put this on the positive terminal. It says right, right, right in the directions. It's only for the negative side, which makes sense because, believe it or not, the uh, negative and positive terminals are two different sizes. The positive is bigger, so this will not fit on the positive terminal. As always, we're going to disconnect our negative terminal first. Now, yes, both my terminals are pretty loose, and that's because, again, I disconnect this thing. Uh, but we won't be doing that any longer. With the negative side disconnected, you might want to go ahead and clean the negative and the positive if you haven't done so already. Mine's pretty clean because I just replaced this battery about six months ago. Anyway. So this just goes right on your negative terminal. You can really place it wherever you want on top of the battery, but you want to make sure your negative uh, cable will reach. Uh, I think I'm going to do something like this with mine. Yeah, I think about like that. Now this nut and bolt combo is uh, a 9 16 and 9 16 We're just going to tighten that up. All right. And the terminal on the car is a standard half inch. I'm going to go ahead and tighten down my positive as well. Don't forget to do yours if you took it off to clean it. All right, now this just works by moving it from the off position to the on position. You've got red here, that lets you know it's off, and then green here, that lets you know it's on. So put that off, return our key, and nothing. That, of course, is exactly what we want. All right, let's move this to the on position. And that's just as simple as twisting it to there. And now when we turn this key, we should have some lights. Look at that. It's working now. Almost started. All right. She's burning like a kitten, and uh, hopefully it won't be draining that battery now when I'm gone for a week at a time. Anyways, if I can do it, you can do it. Like, subscribe, comment. See you all down the road.